Hey guys, Jerm here, and today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the new Breed Rivals season in Asphalt 9. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my Furum Clips channel, as well as my Purple Team Discord. You'll find the links to those in the description, and with that, let's get on with the video. I'll be talking about all the new cars in the update, their max stats, as well as other additions and changes. So let's get to our first car, which is the Allwell MKX Nagari 500 in C-Class. This car's stats are very similar to those of the Aston Martin V12 Speedster, but are slightly better across the board. Given the relative uselessness of the V12 Speedster, except in certain special events, I'm pretty sure this car is going to be another forgettable one that only really will be useful in a special event of this update, and it'll be obtainable in a weekend car hunt. Our next new car is also in C-Class and is the Brabham BT62. This car has the exact same top speed at max as the Ferrari 599XX Evo, slightly worse handling, but slightly better nitro and acceleration. If the drifting radius and speed is not too much worse than that of the 599XX Evo, this could definitely be a new contender for a king of Class C on some tracks. You'll be able to obtain this car in the new Looper Grand Prix, which I will talk more about later. Our next new car is the Arash AF8 Falcon Edition in B-Class, which Arash actually leaked themselves a few weeks ago on their Instagram. Compared to the current AF10 in Class B, the AF8 is similar, but has better handling and nitro than the AF10 while having slightly worse top speed and acceleration. You could also think of it as a Corvette Grand Sport with worse handling. Not gonna be all that great. You can also get the AF8 in a Looper Grand Prix. Our first new B-Class car of the update is the Puritalia Berlinetta. Its stats are similar to those of the Ferrari 48 GT be Challenge Evo with slightly worse top speed and nitro, but slightly better acceleration and handling. This car is definitely toward the top of its class. I'm not entirely sure whether or not it will be a new king, but it will definitely be very good for multiplayer. The Brillinetta is the Legend Pass car of this update, but as we know now, it could come back as a free-to-play car much later. Our first new S-Class car of the update is the Vision 1789. Wow, I didn't know they made cars back then. This car's stats are similar to those of the Terzo Millennial with slightly worse top speed and acceleration, but slightly better handling and nitro. It's a pretty mid-tier S-Class car all around, it's not going to be a king, it likely won't be great for multiplayer, although if it can floaty, it has a chance to be okay, I guess. You'll be able to unlock this car in a new multiplayer series starting every day, they say. Not sure what that means. And finally, our second new S-Class car is the Tushik TS900 Racer Pro. Kinda sounds like if Apple named a car. This car's stats are similar to those of the Bugatti Devo, with slightly worse top speed and nitro, but slightly better acceleration and handling. Again, not a king, but better than the previous car, and if it can floaty, it definitely has a good chance of being good in multiplayer. It will only be available in the store, but you'll be able to play in a special event with it. And now for the new kind of Grand Prix, the Looper Prix, where you record your ghost, but then when you play it again, your ghost has slipstream, so you can ride it slipstream and keep on doing that over and over again to get better time. Seems really cool, especially since there's a Mustang on the poster. I wonder if they got any inspiration for the name from that Bruce Willis movie where he goes back in time to fight his younger self. There will also be a new career season for this update where you'll be able to unlock the Lamborghini Veneno and 10 new emotes for you guys to enjoy. Also coming this update will presumably be the first Club Clash. There will be a new kind of event called Starway where you can star up some older cars that you might have missed previously. This time it is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. There will also be a new version of the Koenigsegg Regera special event and I hope they do the same thing as with the Sharon special event that they reran recently where they don't really make it harder, they just update some rewards and stuff. The Vencersar's rank has been increased, but its stats will be the same, and you can now sort cars by ascending or descending in the car filter feature. In addition, there have been some bug fixes. Notably, last update, some people were unable to play the second multiplayer season, and so they have fixed that issue, and some people would point out that a few of the Buenos Aires ramps had seemed to be too low, so they have adjusted those. And that wraps up the major new features and changes of the update. As always, I will link the full patch notes down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed and consider subscribing for more Asphalt, Minecraft, Forza, and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!